what's up y'all we back at it with another all signs reading it is march 1st happy march everybody i hope you all had a beautiful month may your wishes and your dreams come true send you guys lots of love to you and your families and your loved ones this month i hope you all have an amazing month let's get into the messages i'm going from aries to pisces this would be who and what's coming towards you first half of march you guys know every month i split this up into two parts this is the first half of course because it is the first and then around the 15th ish i'll put out the second part for you guys okay but this is a prediction of who and what's coming towards you first half of march keep an open mind when listening to these messages everything may not necessarily be for you this is uh general right these are general messages meaning i'm picking up on multiple energies Multiple storylines and situations, everything may not resonate with you. Please use your discernment and take only what's for you and take only what you want to manifest because, again, these are future predictions, okay? What's up, collective? What's up, y'all? I hope you all feeling good. Grand rising, everybody. Good morning. What's going on with y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Guys, thank you so much for all the likes, comments, shares, subscribes, donations. Those of you that were waiting on pre-recorded personals, I've completed everything. Yesterday, I finished everybody's reading. So make sure you check out your emails because I sent y'all y'all links to y'all personals, okay? All right, y'all, let's get into it. Aries, you up first. Let's see who and what's coming towards my Aries first half of March. Who and what's coming towards Aries first half of March? Spirit, allow me to see things clearly for each zodiac sign that I call out. Cover shield, protect me as I channel this energy, please and thank you. Who and what's coming towards the zodiac sign of Aries first half of March? Let me get three more shuffles for my beautiful and handsome Aries out there. What can they expect the first half of March? Who and what's coming towards Aries? first half of March. Some of you could be connected to a Sagittarius. Okay. There's a King of Pentacles in the reverse that's in your energy that's wanting to come towards you. This person may be wanting to work together with you um, and give you some sort of offer here. Uh, for some of you, this person wants to commit to you or make it seem like they're giving you something solid. But this is not the situation. This is not This is not the case, okay? This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Sagittarius, somebody with strong earth or Sag in their chart. This person is actually really heartbroken, okay? Somebody here is secretly heartbroken. They could be secretly heartbroken because you're building a foundation with someone else, Okay? This person could be secret. Yeah, that's the truth. Okay, so this person is secretly heartbroken because you could be building a foundation with someone else. And whoever this is, they chose a third party over you and they having they going through some sort of financial struggles. They going through some sort of lack here with a third party. This person could also be feeling ill, okay? But this is somebody that wanted to come in and work together with you in some way. But they upset because they know that you're intuitive and you don't trust them. All right, Aries, you're showing up as the high priestess. You're very intuitive, very loving too. High priestess, queen of cups energy. Some of you can have strong water placements, don't necessarily have to. But you are showing up as someone that's very connected to Mother Gaia. You are receiving a lot of wish fulfillment here, okay? So Aries, first half of March is going to be feeling really good for you. I'm hearing something about your finances increasing as well, all right? Some of you could have been praying for... You know, better finances, you know, it's coming in. Everything is coming in. But somebody else that's in the King of Pentacles and the reverse energy, this person is feeling stagnant, okay? This person feels like their finances are being drained. So it's like while you may be feeling like you're getting some sort of financial blessings here, somebody else that's showing up as the King of Pentacles in the reverse is feeling upset here. This person's feeling stagnant. They're feeling stuck. They could have been connected to um, a cancer uh, Aries Leo or Sag or Virgo or somebody with that in their chart but you know these people attacked you in some way okay Aries these people together or attacked you in some way but you're showing up as someone that's heavily protected and because you're protected 
it's not only are you not only are you good and you protected from whatever attacks they've been sending out to you you're um they're getting some sort of karma for it you know you're getting vindicated and they're getting some sort of karma for it there's an empress in the reverse here that is uh feeling blocked as well this is somebody that you may not be talking to during this time uh spirit definitely separated you from this person for a reason okay give me something on this empress in the reverse this could be a karmic distorted, uh, well, it is a karmic distorted feminine, but this could be like a karmic mom, or this is somebody that you used to date, okay? This person could be falling ill, all right? Somebody here could be a Leo, all right? Or they could have strong Leo placements. Somebody here could be a Taurus as well. I'm getting strong Taurus and Leo energy here. They could have that in their chart, all right? But I feel like whoever this is, they're stuck, okay? They've made a decision here that they wanted to be with you. But I feel like it's too late. It's too late. Yeah, you put an end to this situation or spirit just intervene on your behalf and put an end to this. You're receiving justice, okay, Aries? You're receiving justice in this situation. If you have like a legal case as well, I, I definitely see it going in your favor. Um, but for others of you that don't have a legal case, either way, you're receiving some sort of good karma first half of March. Um, and somebody else isn't okay so the will is turning as soon as i as soon as i spoke about karma and justice we got the justice in the upright we got the will of fortune in the reverse and the ten of swords okay it's really giving me people that was laughing and attacking you at some point are now watching you and they're upset because you're receiving justice and they're receiving karma you are in the star energy everything is leveling up for you you showing up as the magician and the star you're somebody that's bossing the fuck up. Like, you're leveling up. Everything in your life is on the up and up. You're going from the nine to the ten of pentacles for sure. You're showing up as someone that's been working hard. And it's like your hard work is finally paying off. And a lot of people that's been trying to slow you down is getting karma. Somebody here could definitely be a Leo. Somebody here tried to steal something from y'all as well. They're going through karma for this. Meanwhile, you're in a nine of cups energy. There's a king of cups in the reverse that's also going through karma. That's going to want to come back towards you because they feel defeated in some way. This is somebody that attacked y'all. And they, they suffering right now. There's a queen of pentacles in the reverse here that's suffering. There's a Capricorn that could be suffering. There's multiple people here that work behind the scenes to cause delays and endings in your life. And it just did not work that way. You actually receive injustice. These people actually helped you because I feel like every time somebody attacks you, they just put more money in your bank account. That's pretty much what's going on here. They're draining themselves and, and giving you their energy and their finances. That's what it's looking like. And it's an energetic thing, you know, money is energy, currency is energy. So it's like the more these people attack you, the less they're going to have, the more you're going to have. I don't think they realize that because they still attacking you. all <laughs> But you're good. Okay. Spirit said you're good. You're receiving justice in this situation. That's why right. I don't really feel like this is going to last the whole month of March. Okay. Like somebody here is going to be forced to stop. All right. Let's move on to my Taurus. What's going on, Taurus? Who and what's coming towards you first half of March? What can Taurus expect the first half of March? Who and what's coming towards Taurus first half of March? Please and thank you, Spirit. Who and what's coming towards Taurus first half of March? Give me three more shuffles for my Taurus. Who and what's coming towards Taurus first half of March? Some of you could be getting invited out somewhere. Okay, somebody here could be inviting you out, inviting you to some sort of celebration. Um, somebody here could be going to jail. Mm. Somebody that you know, Taurus, okay, for some of you, could be another Taurus. Could be a Virgo. Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like there's conflict and tension between you and this person. There could be issues that come up in the workplace. Or you could be finding out that somebody has went up against you in some way at the workplace. This person could be a Virgo. Or a Pisces. Somebody with strong Virgo or Pisces in their chart. Somebody here was waiting on some sort of money. 
but they're not getting that. The Empress in the reverse, Ten of Swords. This person's going to be in the Ten of Swords. They're not getting anything. Um, this could be another Taurus. This could be a Pisces, a Virgo. Somebody here tried to sabotage you, Taurus, okay? This could even be your own mom. But somebody here, this is an older feminine energy. Somebody that's older than you. That's what it's giving me. Somebody here tried to sabotage you, tried to sneak you. Yeah, could be a Capricorn. There's a Capricorn, a Gemini, a Pisces, another Taurus, a Virgo. These are older people, though. For some reason, I, this is really giving me energy of these people are older. But y'all just take it as it resonates. The strong Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, and, and Taurus, and Virgo energy here. But somebody here definitely tried to come for you, Taurus, because you are somebody that's very stable. The Hierophant. This is your family. Your family betrayed you. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius as well. But these people betrayed you, and they're upset here because you're still showing up as someone that's victorious. The Hierophant and the Justice. You could have Libra placements for some of you, but this is a whole family. This could be your karmic family that betrayed you or somebody that you used to be involved with. Them and your karmic family or them and their karmic family uh, betrayed you, okay? They can't believe that this is working out in your favor. They can't believe you're receiving justice in this situation. Some of you, there's an emperor here, okay, that's unhappy, that's emotionally codependent on you. I feel like you intuitively know that something is going on with this person emotionally. This is somebody that could be going to jail. You could be really disappointed to find out that this person is going to jail, but it's going to actually bring more clarity for you, okay? So something here is being made fair for you. But I also feel like somebody going to jail, um, it's like really causing you to be disappointed. Yeah, somebody here is facing poverty, a king of wands in the reverse. This person could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, somebody with strong fire placements possibly. But I feel like whatever's going on, you're seeing something clearly now. Yeah, judgment is being called here. Somebody's getting karma. And for some of you, their karma is for them to go to jail. It's for somebody that y'all know going to jail. Um, yeah, but I feel like you protected in this situation. You're being protected from a king of pentacles in a reverse. This person could be a Taurus like you, a Virgo or a Capricorn. This person was like purposely put into your life to take from you. Yeah, this person's a snake. You got to walk away from this person. This is a false lover. For some of you, you're walking away from a false lover that was sent in by your karmic family members. Yeah, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. I feel like you're going to be very angry to know that, you know, people try to set you up with a false lover. But you're going to be successful in walking away from this person. Yeah, Eight of Wands in the reverse. This is actually somebody that's connected to a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So this King of Pentacles in the reverse and this Queen of Pentacles reverse is working together. Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy here. This person set a King of Pentacles in the reverse to emotionally manipulate you and give you a love offer because they felt like you're very codependent. They felt like you needed somebody or you was desiring love. You really wanted to be with someone. And so they, they sent in a false lover towards you to take energy from you. You could even be feeling drained or depleted or sad and depressed and not realizing where it's coming from. These people are doing spell work on you behind the scenes. Every time this person talks to you, somebody else is doing spell work. It's like it's an energy exchange. But you still getting success and victory in this situation. Your wishes are still going to be met here. Your wishes are still going to be granted and fulfilled. So even though this is going on, you're still going to come out on top at the end of all of this. Because you're going to walk away from this person. They're not expecting you to walk away from this person. Somebody here is expecting you to be very codependent and attached to this false lover. But I see here that you're actually going to separate from this person. <clears throat> Lord, Jesus. Your ex is doing spell work on you. For some of you, Taurus, your ex is definitely doing spell work on you. And this person is disappointed because nothing is working here. You could also have a father figure that is um, not wishing you the best, okay? Some of you have a toxic karmic father. Or there's just an older gentleman here. Oh, well, he's not a gentleman. But there's an older masculine energy here that is very dominating. This person could be a Taurus as well or an Aquarius or a Libra. But this person is upset here because you're receiving some sort of wish fulfillment. 
This person has been working hard behind the scenes to keep you stagnant, to keep you binded, to keep you blocked. Somebody here wants to keep you up in your head as well. Somebody here has been trying to keep some sort of energetic cord between you two. Yeah, you're finding out the truth about all of this. Taurus, the first half of March, I mean, it's a lot that's going to be revealed to you. Some of you need to really pay attention to your dreams as well. You could be getting certain downloads and, you know, certain, yeah, you're going to get clarity in the dream state. Uh, so pay attention to your dreams. If you're remembering a lot of your dreams, first half of March, it's because they're um, messages, okay? Like you're receiving messages about somebody here. Uh, Taurus, some of you could also be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations. That's for a different set of Taurus. Uh, Taurus, you um, could be finding out that somebody passed away as well. Okay, yeah, this could be someone in your family, all right? Something's going on with someone in your family. This person could be sick or this person could be passing away, okay? It's a masculine energy is what I'm getting. I'm sending my deepest condolences. I'm sorry for your loss. I really am. Truthfully, I really am. But it's like you're being celebrated in some way. Like this person betrayed you or they betrayed someone close to you. Yeah, a queen of pentacles in a reverse has been really going against you and doing spell work on you. Some of you have a fellow earth sign that's been doing a lot of spell work on y'all. This person could be another Taurus like you, a Virgo or a Capricorn. And this is somebody that smiles in your face. They pose as a friend, but they don't wish you well. This is somebody that's very envious of y'all and they've been doing a lot of spell work here. Yeah, a lot. Somebody here has been wishing death on y'all as well. It's like so nasty here, so negative. But this person keep getting blocked. It's like they keep getting blocked. Taurus, I really don't feel like you have anything to worry about. Somebody here could be a Cancer, or another Taurus like you, a Virgo or a Capricorn, a Gemini, okay? But whoever this person is, they've been wishing a lot of ill on you. Make sure that you stay and prayed up, okay? Cleanse your space, okay? Meditate, take good care of yourself because you got somebody wishing the absolute worst on you. But I just feel like it's not working. Somebody here is watching to see if it's working. And they're getting pissed off every time they look at you because it's not working. This person could be a Sagittarius as well. Somebody here is pissed off and they're heartbroken because they keep attacking you. And then they see, they watch behind the scenes to see if it's working. And they're heartbroken because it's not working. It's not working. Like, it's really not. They keep watching you to see if you bind it, to see if you trapped, to see if you heartbroken, to see if you stuck. But every time they watch you, Taurus, you still in this Hierophant energy. Taurus, the Hierophant is your major arcana. Whoever's attacking you, they keep watching to see if it's working. And you still showing up as someone that's still stable. You still good. This person is pissed off. There's somebody that is, they're now binded. Somebody here that wanted to trap you and like set you up in some way. Now this person is trapped and set up. Whatever they wanted to, whatever they was wishing on you is happening to them. This person is angry. You hear me? This person is so angry. For some of you, this is a fake ass friend. Okay, it's a fake ass friend, an ex, a family member. But I'm telling you, this is somebody that you're not connected to anymore. This is somebody that you don't talk to anymore, but this is somebody that's very two-faced, okay? This is somebody that you're not really talking to, but they're going to try to come in and hit you up. But for some of you, you block this person. It's a queen of pentacles in reverse. I can't make it up. Some of y'all, you could have limited the communication between you and this person, but they're getting karma and they're going to try to reach out to you again because they feel like you don't know that they attacked you. They feel like you don't know that they was uh, spiritually attacking you. Some of you don't know, but you're going to get the clarity this month. And this person is really worried. They're really concerned because they watching you and they still see you doing good. And so they're worried about where that energy is going. All that negative energy that they've been sending out to you, they are worried about it coming back to them because as they watch you, you're still good. You're receiving offers, opportunities, blessings. You're celebrating. Some of you, yeah, you're very intuitive. And you, you're very intuitive, okay? You're showing up as someone that's extremely intuitive. You could have Pisces or Virgo placements in your chart somewhere, but you're showing up as someone that's celebrating. you also been looking really good, Taurus. You know you are absolutely beautiful. Some of you got strong fire placements as well. But Taurus, you rule by that Venus energy. You're absolutely stunning. This person's been trying to do beauty spells and all types of shit on you. And as they watch you, you just still looking fine. If anything, you looking finer than the last time that they saw you. You looking finer than you did before the attacks. You know what I'm saying? And your money is increasing. You receiving good news. You celebrating. You going out. Like somebody here is pissed off. Somebody here is very childish. Whoever this is, they're childish. They're just mad because 
you've limited the communication between you and them or you just stop talking to this person altogether. That's what's going on here. They feel like you don't think about them no more. You don't care about them. And they just did the absolute most to attack you. But they're getting karma for this. They're under heavy judgment for this shit. This is somebody that won't respect the curve. They just won't respect the fact that you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to deal with them anymore. For some of you, your own sister's attacking you as well. Some of y'all have a toxic sister that hates your guts, okay? All right, let's move on. Gemini. Who and what's coming towards my Gemini? Who and what's coming towards Gemini first half of March, please and thank you. Who and what's coming towards my Gemini? First half of March. Spare, give me two more shuffles for my beautiful and handsome Gemini's. Gemini, there could be some sort of conflict between you and somebody. And it's because you found out that they lied to you about something. Gemini, here you are showing up as the lovers at the bottom of the deck. There you are again. Gemini, you on fire, okay? Magician, the lovers, both in the upright. I love it. Yeah, you showing up as the queen of swords. Very intelligent, standing your ground, not taking any shit from anybody. Um, I feel like somebody from your past is missing you, but there go that five of swords again. Gemini, you could find out, you could be finding out that somebody stole something from y'all or they tried to, but you're celebrating. You celebrating, Gemini. It's a good time for you. First half of March is going to be a really good time for you. But some of you are finding out that somebody tried to emotionally manipulate you in some way. This person could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or Virgo. Okay. But somebody here was sending you the evil eye. It's not working though. Yeah, they're watching you during this time. Somebody here is watching you in a relationship. You could be in a relationship with someone or you could be about to get into a really beautiful connection. You taking a leap of faith and you you going into a new connection with someone. You could have manifested this. And somebody here is really pissed off about this. Somebody here is pissed off to see you in this energy. Somebody here could be a Leo or a Sagittarius or they could have that in their chart. But somebody here feels like you getting a lot of good news. You celebrate it. Uh, you could be in a new relationship or you about to be in a new relationship. You got a healthy partnership here, an equal give and take partnership, two of cups. Some of you could be traveling. Okay, congratulations. You could be moving as well. Um, congratulations. Some of you moving, traveling, getting a new car. Some of you are going to be moving in with a lover. It's like a lot of beautiful things that's happening for you, Gemini. Congratulations in advance. This is absolutely amazing. But you got a Leo or a Sagittarius or somebody with that in their chart that's pissed off because you're in a good position. Everything is working out for you in your life. Yeah, you're in a good position. I can't make it up. Nine of Cups. And you're showing up as someone that's very intuitive as well. The High Priestess. High Priestess and the Nine of Cups. I mean, Gemini, everything is going your way. Oh, my God. The Sun card. I can't make it up. Gemini, your energy is so beautiful. This relationship that you're going to be in is going to feel like a dream come true, wish come true. Um, this new car you're getting is absolutely beautiful. Some of you getting a new car. I mean, you just, you are like doing your thing. Okay, Gemini, y'all are doing it. Y'all are doing big fucking things, man. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. Like, you guys are doing really well. Somebody here that's in school, your, your grades are good. You're doing well in school. Like, it's just like any and everything that could go right is going right. And you manifested this. You called this in. Okay, somebody else is heavily burdened and weighed down. Somebody here that was abusing their power in some way and trying to attack you is uh, definitely burdened and weighed down. There could have been a Taurus, a Leo, or a Sagittarius that was working against you. All of these people are getting karma. They could have been a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces that was working against you. All of these people are getting karma. Meanwhile, your wishes are being fulfilled. Your wishes are being granted. There's a King of Pentacles in the reverse that wants to come back towards you. This person could be sending you a false message, okay? Somebody here could also be uh, trying to, like come at you about a child or some weird shit like this this person is restless okay they're just restless because you know not to trust them gemini you intuitively knew to separate yourself from these people you intuitively knew not to trust somebody here you knew that these people was doing you dirty here justice in the reverse you knew this shit you knew that somebody made a decision here that they wanted to take you out in some way somebody here could be a virgo okay it's so many people that was involved here i'm getting libra Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, 
okay an empress in the reverse some of you got a karmic or a distorted toxic mother as well or a fake ass friend here it's like all of these people you're gonna watch all these people have a fall some of these people are having a fall from grace you're gonna see people that was at the top lose it all I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, five of Pentacles, ten of swords. You're going to see a lot of people that was at the top lose it all. You're going to be like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, you got an emperor here. I told you, you got a new successful relationship. And it's with an emperor. Whoever this person is, ooh, they big daddy here. Okay? This person is, ugh. I mean, it's going to be beautiful. Whatever's going on with you and your love life is absolutely beautiful. I feel like this person makes you feel like you're on top of the world. And I feel like there's karmic family members that want to come back towards you in some way, but you're not fucking with them, okay? You're not fucking with these people. Yeah, you're avoiding these people. You feel like they're toxic. You don't want to deal with them. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're cutting a lot of people off. It's a lot of people that's getting karma, and they could be reaching out to you for help, and you just like, mm, I can't help you. I mean, I can't help you. That's, I don't know what to tell you. You know, like, it's really that energy. I don't know what to tell you. I can't help you. I'm sorry, I guess, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Like, Gemini, that's just really your energy. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I can't help you. Whew. Well, Gemini, congratulations on everything else. Because, I mean, you got a lot to celebrate. You're going to be doing really, really good. You're going to be really, really happy, baby. Um, all right. Let's see. Cancer. What's going on with my Cancers? Who and what's coming towards Cancer first half? March. First half of March. Who and what's coming towards cancer? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Who and what's coming towards cancer? First half of March. Give me one more shuffle for cancer. What can they expect the first half of March? All right. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. A Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Be mindful of your temper. Or somebody else um, is like really angry and they're coming towards you. Okay. I feel like you're avoiding drama. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle with somebody. Um, I feel like you're getting away from bullshit. You're getting away from somebody that's toxic. Somebody here may also struggle with like addiction as well. Like they could have some sort of substance abuse issues or something like that. But I feel like you just separating yourself from the drama. You separating yourself from somebody that's toxic as fuck. It could be a Pisces for some of you. Somebody here could be a Pisces, a Capricorn. They could have that in their chart. Um, Cancer, some of you are getting a promotion at work or you getting a new job opportunity, a new job offer. Congratulations. This is going to be higher pay. Okay, your salary is increasing. Work is really good for you. Work is really good for you. There's somebody that's really jealous of that, though. Because they were trying to cause a delay for this. Some of you have an Aries that's really jealous of you. They could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces that's really jealous of you. Um, somebody here is sending you the evil eye because your money is increasing because you got a new job opportunity. This is something that you manifested. Yeah, you're showing up as a leader. Somebody that's in a position of power. You could have Taurus placements in your chart. Yeah, but judgment is being called in this situation. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Somebody here is really unhappy. Because you have love in your life. Somebody here wanted somebody here from your family wants to ask you for money. But I feel like you intuitively know not to give this person nothing. Everything is working out in your favor. Somebody here owes you an apology. I feel like they're apologizing to you. They could be trying to make up with you. There's a Sagittarius or a Leo here that's getting karma. Okay. Strong Sagittarius, strong Leo, Capricorn, Pisces. Whoever these people are, they all getting karma at the same time. All right, you have an emperor here. Give me something on the emperor. Why is the emperor here for cancer? Who's the emperor? Why is the emperor here? Okay, so you have a soulmate coming in. You have a choice to make. Do you want to be with this person? Do you not want to be with this person? This is somebody that's watching you during this time. A lot of you don't trust this. You feel like this person only wants you. Well, no, it's not that. I feel like you don't know if you trust the situation. Because you know that there's a karmic attached to this person. There's a queen of cups in a reverse. Somebody that's a distorted karmic feminine that's emotionally codependent on this emperor. Um, and you just don't want the drama. That's what's going on here. It's not necessarily that you don't want this person. You just don't want the headache. You don't want the drama that's attached to this person, that's connected to this person. This person wants to be with you. Ace of cups and the sun. 
this person, for some of you, this person wants to start a family with you, okay? They're really thinking about children. They're really thinking about being with you. Um, but they have a Queen of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that's codependent on them. There could be a Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that's codependent on them, okay? That's watching them during this time or they're watching you to see if you're going to be with this person or not because they know that this person wants to be with you. This is a past life soulmate. Whoever this emperor is, this is a past life soulmate. You have some sort of contract with this person. Yeah, you have some sort of contract with this person. But somebody here feels like it's unfair to, for you to have this love. Yeah, some of you are going to be with this person. They could be an Aries, a Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, an Aquarius. And somebody else wants to come back towards you, but you leaving them out in the cold. There's also a third party here, an empress in the reverse that was expecting to reconcile with this person. They stuck on this person. They can't get over this person. This person could be a Cancer like you or a Pisces or a Scorpio, but that's not going to work out. They don't want that person. They want you. I feel like they want you. Somebody's in love with y'all, period. This person's in love with y'all, okay? They're in love with y'all and they're ready to invest in you. This person said they only want you. All I want is you. All I want is you now. They could be finding out that somebody did spell work on them as well. Somebody was doing like love spells and readings and getting a lot of readings on them and shit. They like, I don't want that crazy bitch. I want you. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. They could even be telling you something like this. They said, all I want is you. Cancer, somebody, only, the only thing they want is you. All I want is you, babe. All I want is you now. There's a queen of cups in a reverse, man. Queen of wands reverse. This person got strong water or Sagittarius placements possibly. Or Aries Leo, but she just watching this person. All she do is stalk this person to see if y'all together or to see if, you know, it's like, yo, move around. Like, she is like, that person is obsessed with whoever your masculine is. All right, let's move on to my Leos. Leo, what's going on, sugar snaps? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no, Leo. Leo, there you are, son. What's going on with you, Leo? Let's see what's happening. What and who and what's coming towards you first half of March? Who and what's coming towards my Leo's first half of March? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Give me two more shuffles for Leo. Who and what's coming towards Leo first half of March? Okay, Leo. Some of you could be finding out about some sort of infidelity. If you guys are in a relationship or you're connected to someone, maybe in a marriage, you could be finding out about some sort of infidelity. You could be getting solid proof, okay, about it. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Capricorn. You could be breaking up with this person. This person could be choosing to break up with you. I'm getting Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius energy here. I feel like there's a, some sort of conflict here, though. There could be a fight or an argument, but after that happens, you're leaving. You're like, I'm done, I'm out. Or this person is leaving you. Just take it as it resonates. Um, yeah, you guys don't... Yeah, this is not going to work. you like, yeah, this is not going to work. I'm done. I feel like you feel better alone, though. Like, you feel better without this person. Some of you could actually be re reconciling with somebody. You could be reconciling with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart. There's a Queen of Swords in a reverse that's really upset here and heartbroken because some sort of spell work is backfiring. This person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is in a Ten of Swords now because some sort of spell work is backfiring. But Leo, I feel like you're receiving justice in the situation. We got the Justice and the Sun card. Some of you could have Libra placements in your chart. But if you got like a legal situation, you won, okay? Consider it already done. Like everything is working out in your favor. You could be receiving a love offer from an emperor. Some of you are going to be moving soon. Congratulations. Some of you are going to be getting a new car as well. Congratulations. Some of you got a distorted karmic feminine in your energy. For some of you, this could even be your child's mother. This person is getting a lot of karma here because they did spell work on you. 
this person is losing everything. I'm hearing something about this person losing everything. This is somebody that y'all don't really talk to that much. Or this person was attacking you because you didn't want to be with them or you stopped talking to them. Or you don't really entertain the bullshit. It's like you don't entertain this person. But all they like to do is fight and, and cause conflict for you. And this could be somebody that y'all have children with. But this person is, is mad because you have a family. Like they're mad because you could have moved on. You could have remarried or got into a connection or you sharing a home with somebody. And they're really pissed off about this. This person has been working together with multiple people here behind the scenes to attack you. But they've been lying on you. Like whatever they've been telling people to actually get them on board to attack you. It's like whatever they did, it was all based off lies. Leo, you showing up as the nine of cups. You're going from the nine of cups to the ten of cups. Very independent, very self-sufficient, happy. You know, this person just didn't want the cycle to close out between you two. And now they're worried and they're concerned here because they don't know what to do. They're binded to the devil here. They they made a bad deal with the devil. They made some sort of contract with the devil here to attack you, to take you out. Somebody here was also attacking your children. None of this shit is working. The will is turning in your favor. You're going to be good. All right. But this is so crazy to me because for some of you, you actually share a child with this person and it was attacking your child. Like that could be their child as well, unless you have a child with somebody else that they was attacking. So it may not necessarily be the child that you share with them, but it could have been a child that you have by somebody else. That's for some of you. But if they was attacking the child that they share with you as well, this person is crazy as hell. Either way, they're crazy for attacking you because you two have children together. Like they don't give a fuck about you having a relationship with your child or not. They just wanted to see you down and out. They wanted to see you doing bad. Some of you definitely getting some sort of payout. You could be winning a lawsuit as well. Like if you suing somebody, you're definitely winning. You're, they definitely owe you. You definitely getting paid here. Yeah, I can't make it up. I was looking for the Ten of Pentacles. Your ass is definitely getting paid. Like somebody here owes you. Somebody here is going to have to pay you. There's a large payout. There's a large sum of money that's coming towards some of you. Yep, Leo, here you go. The strength card. You moving forward too. You're going to be able to make the moves that you want to make. Yo, this summer is going to be so good for you, Leo. It's something about the summertime. I just heard the summertime. I'm hearing um summer, summer, summertime. Summertime. Okay, I'm hearing Summertime by Will Smith. That's Will Smith right here. But I'm telling you, like, something here about the summer going to be like, nah. Like, the summer is going to be lit for you. Your baby mama fucking crazy, though. All this spell work that she's been doing over the years is backfiring on her ass. And she's just been walking around telling you, uh, telling a lot of lies. Or this is a karmic distorted feminine you used to be connected to. And then for some of you, if you're not a masculine Leo that I'm talking to, some of you, you're, masculine Leo, you're, uh, you're a masculine Leo and this resonates with you. And then for others of you, this is like a karmic mother or a karmic sister. This is someone in your family for some of you. And this person is getting a lot of karma. You're going to see this shit. You're going to see it play out. Summer, summer, summertime. Summertime. Something about the summertime being great for you, Leo. Something about the summertime being amazing. All right, let's move on to my Virgie verbs. What's up, Virgo? Who and what's coming towards Virgo first half of March? Who and what's coming towards Virgo first half of March? Please and thank you, Spirit. Who and what's coming towards Virgo first half of March? What can Virgo expect? Summer, summer, summer time. Ooh, Virgo, look at you at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo, the hermit and the world card. I feel like you done with the bullshit. You closing out a cycle. A chapter is completed. A chapter is done. Chapter is closed out. Something here is picking up for you really fast, though. Eight of Wands. Some of you could be receiving some sort of communication as well. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, you closing out a cycle. Or oh, somebody from your past want to spin a block and talk to you. Somebody here coming towards you very quickly. It's like they're panicking. Yeah, somebody's panicking. They feel like they have something to say to you. You're like, uh-uh, stop right there. Stop right there. Don't even finish your sentence. Click. I feel like you could be hanging up on somebody or you not answering at all. You're like, no, 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 no. Leave me alone. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius placements for some of you. You are not playing with somebody. Yeah, this person is heartbroken. They feel defeated. Three of swords, six of wands in the reverse. Nine of swords. Somebody here is worried and concerned. They trying to come towards you and tell you something. You like, go ahead. Don't come too close. Say what it is that you need to say and then go on about your business. 
Virgo, you are not playing, okay? You're not playing with motherfuckers. Somebody here feel like you a soulmate of theirs. This person showing up as the king of pentacles in the reverse, though. You looking at this person as an opportunist. Uh, Virgo, make sure you check out my early tea that I posted today, okay? Because this is the same energy, I promise you. Whoever this is, they're a king of pentacles in the reverse, king of wands reverse. This person could be an herb sign or a fire sign, but this person is a player. This is somebody that's an opportunist as well. This person is pissed off right now because they feel like they're losing everything with a karmic, and they feel like you're the real deal, holy field. You're the empress. You could have Libra or Taurus in your chart. This person could be a Cancer, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Whoever this masculine is, they losing a lot with a karmic, and now they want to come towards you and be with you. You're like, mm, no. Yeah, this person sees you as someone that's... Uh, stable they feel like you have a solid foundation you're very abundant you are the empress is very abundant the empress the hierophant yeah everything is working out in your favor this person betrays you they hurt you in, in some way here yeah, yeah whatever they did was an injustice they definitely acting like they wasn't a part of it though this is somebody that want to come towards you hoping that you don't know what role they played in when it comes to betraying you but they was a part of it somebody here could have an aquarius moon yeah, this person is foul as fuck. This is somebody that y'all avoiding. Could be a Libra as well. I'm getting Libra, Sagittarius, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Whoever this is, you know the truth about them. You see the truth about them. You know that this person is jealous of you. It's like multiple people here jealous of you that betrayed you. Out of jealousy. Out of pure envy and jealousy here. Somebody here could have promised somebody some sort of money as well, which is why they attacked you. They ain't getting shit. I can't make it up. I just saw the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Let me see if I can put my hand back on it. Somebody here is not getting anything. Okay? Somebody here is not getting anything. And they feel like it's unfair. Whatever karma they're getting. Yeah. Judgment in a reverse. I mean, where is it at? Oh, no. Will of Fortune in reverse. But I'm seeing judgment in a reverse in my mind. Yeah. Will of Fortune in reverse. The tables have turned. This person is losing everything. Yeah, I can't make it up. As soon as I said they losing everything, the five of pentacles came out. This is poverty. This is lack. Somebody here may even be wanting to talk to you because they, they losing a job. They lost a job or they lost a home. But this is somebody that wanted to kill you or was wishing endings, wishing death on you. And now this person is disappointed. They in heavy regret because you still living. Okay, they was really sad to see that you were still living, that you actually survived an attack. You survived something. Yeah, judgment got called in this situation. God is protecting you. But this person has no protection. This is somebody that's very emotionally manipulative. This person may be wanting to stay with you. Yeah, this is somebody that did some sort of spell work. And that shit backfired in a worse way. This person's losing. At, when I tell you somebody here is heartbroken. Yeah, the magician in the reverse. Three of swords. Will of fortune reverse. Five of pentacles. Somebody here is losing everything. They could even be losing somebody that they love close to them. But this shit done backfired in a worse way. And now this person want to like sleep on your couch or sleep with you and be with you and come to your house. I can't make it up. Ten of cups, knight of wands. This is somebody that want to partner up with you and be with you. This person could also be running away from, they trying to run away from their karma. Like, no. This person is finding out that you're successful, you're good while they're losing everything. There go that ten of pentacles in the reverse that I was looking for. I knew I saw it. Yeah, nine of pentacles in the reverse, ten of pentacles reverse. This person was a narcissist, okay? This is somebody that was abusing y'all. Now they want to come in, have some sort of new beginning with you. They could be wanting to tell you that they love you. This person is watching you during this time. They're watching you. And they want to travel, come towards you, and pair up with you because they know that you're the queen of pentacles. Everything is working out in your favor, Empress. This person knows that you got some sort of abundance or wish fulfillment. You're very abundant. You got a beautiful home as well for some of you. But yeah, or you're about to have a really beautiful home. Some of you could even be moving. Congratulations. But a lot of things are happening for you. You could be seeing 1111 or 111, all right? Some of you seeing 1010, 999, 919, 911, 11. You could be seeing 119 as well. But it's like this person did not expect to get this kind of karma. Somebody here is also trying to downplay what they did to you. Like, motherfuckers did death spells on you. And the type of karma that they get in, it's like they trying to downplay the fact that they did a real, like they did an actual death spell on you. And they trying to downplay it. You can't downplay that. Like, somebody here feeling like what they losing is not, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't like add up to what they did. Like, what they did wasn't that serious for them to be getting this kind of karma. Like, what? <laughs> Somebody here wants to take y'all out. Like, get the fuck out of here. This person crazy as hell. 
You ain't fucking with this person. Hell no. Nah. I feel like you ain't fucking with this person at all. This person got like some sort of entity attachment as well. Like somebody here got like some sort of demonic entity attachment. Somebody here could have conjured up a spirit as well. And they, they can't control it. Like they can't control whatever they conjured up. It's, it's a whole bunch of shit going on in somebody's life here. All right, let's move on to my Libras. What's going on with Libra? Sun, moon, Venus, rising in North Node, Libra. Sun, moon, Venus, rising in North Node, Libra. What's up, Libra? What's up, Sugar Snaps? Happy March, Libra. Let's see. Who and what's coming towards you, Libra? Who and what's coming towards my Libras? First half of March. Who and what's coming towards Libra? First half of March. Libra, be careful of somebody wanting to come in and sleep with you. Okay? Like, this person is very manipulative. I feel like somebody here is desiring you sexually and they want to sleep with you. It's a no. But you got the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the Ten of Cups. I love it. Yeah, some of you are getting beautiful things. Okay? You're receiving beautiful things here. Um... You could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius. You could have Virgo or Aquarius in your chart. You're showing up as a star. You're showing up as a healer. Somebody here wants you to take a bad deal or sign a bad contract. Read the fine print, Libra. Be mindful of things that's um that thing. Be mindful of things that's being proposed to you. Okay. And that, and that means love and business. Okay. Be mindful of what you're signing up for. Some of you got um a soulmate here that chose the other side and this person wants you to be binded right with them because this person can't get out of whatever they decided to choose you know it's a soulmate of yours but this person chose the other side this person is binded to the devil here this person that made a contract they done took an oath they done got locked in here with the devil in some way now this person want to talk to you they want to be with you but the thing is, is that you being with this person is going to put you in this contract as well. Somebody here could be a Capricorn, a Gemini, a Cancer, or they could have that in their chart. But either way, Libra, you moving on. You selling to Karma Waters. I don't really feel like you're going to deal with this at all. You have four of wands in reverse. You're not dealing with this. This person could be trying to leave a gold digger or a Jezebel spirit, a queen of pentacles in the reverse and come towards you because they, they feel like you're receiving justice in a situation you are. Justice, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands, everything is working out in your favor. But you may be b blocking this person off. Some of you, you're not communicating with this person. This person is telling you that, you know, you two have unfinished business. You guys have some sort of contract to fulfill. You're like, nah, not anymore. I'm hearing that the contract is null and void. Yeah, there is no more contract here. Yeah, you showing up as the high priestess. You're very intuitive. Yeah, this is like, this was somebody that was supposed to be your emperor, your divine counterpart. But this is somebody that um, abused their power and authority in some way. This person did some sort of spell work on you. They did this shit with an empress in a reverse. This person was being a player and they attacked you with a karmic that they was involved with. Now they saying they want to walk away with this karmic and send you a message be with you. They saying that the karmic is no longer in a way that you two could be together. Uh-uh. No. You, you don't want this. This ain't what you want. Okay, Libra, this ain't what you want, baby. This ain't what you want. Yeah. Somebody here could also have some sort of illness here. Somebody here could have some sort of health issue. Okay. Yeah. Somebody here is sick. Somebody here has an STD. This is why I said be mindful of who you sleep with. So this person could also have an STD. Okay. Wanting to give it to you. Wanting to pass it to you. Somebody here also wants to get you pregnant. It's a no. Some of you got new love coming in. Congratulations. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth, Ace of Swords. But some of you got new love coming in, okay? Or you could be in a new relationship right now. That's what you need to focus on, a new love, a new relationship. Just new everything. Spirit said all new everything. These people trying to come back from your past is a fuck no. Any and everybody from the past, you need to be side-eyeing. Like, no bullshit, Libra. I don't see a reconciliation here. I see people trying to reconcile with you that don't mean you well. Somebody here feel like you manifesting great things in your life and they want to be a part of it. Yeah, somebody here feels like you're very independent. It's like you getting your last pinnacle. 
You're going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, the star energy. You're showing up as a healer, a high priestess. And somebody else is going through an extreme tower moment for attacking you. Yeah, you're going from the Nine to the Ten of Cups, the Nine to the Ten of Pentacles. And somebody here is pissed off about that. It could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius or somebody with that in their chart that's really mad that you're protected. Somebody here was trying to like battle you spiritually. You don't even have to lift a finger. You know what type of protection you have? I feel like this person is very jealous of that. They're jealous of the fact that you don't really have to retaliate. You don't have to lift a finger. You don't have to spiritually attack somebody. Yeah, you're too protected. Your guides fight for you. Your guides fight on your behalf. They be like, man, Libra, just sit back and chill. And that's exactly what you be doing. You be sitting back. You be chilling. You be letting God fight your battles. You know, vengeance is the Lord's. You don't seek revenge. And this is why you're celebrating. All March is up from here. You only celebrating. You stand in your ground. You're very intuitive. You're very intelligent. The high priestess, the star, the queen of swords. Yeah, somebody here is watching you celebrate. This person feel like they ain't receiving shit. They feel like they attacked you for no reason as well. Somebody here is now nervous about this energy coming back to them. You got a lot of past people that are bitter, that's upset, wishing that they would have treated you better, wishing that they would have been on your side. Somebody here didn't think that you would be successful. You got the three of pentacles here as well. Somebody here want to work together with you from your past because you don't have an ending. Somebody here wanted to cause endings for you, but because they couldn't, it's like now they want to come towards you and work together with you. It's like if you can't beat them, join you. If you can't beat them, join them. But no, these are people that are two-faced. You know that these people are two-faced. You don't want nothing to do with them. Yeah, there's a king of cups in the reverse that's trying to come back around that you can't trust. Somebody here could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. You just don't want to be bothered. Yeah, you're going in a new direction. You're taking a leap of faith going in a new direction. Some of you could also begin some sort of business opportunity or promotion. But business is looking good for you. Things are on the up and up. I'm hearing things are on the up and up for you. So a lot of success in your career, your finances, your business. Yeah, judgment is being called in this situation. I can't make it up. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could be building a connection with a King of Pentacles. Okay, that could be a new love for some of you. But you're going to the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You're going straight to the top here. Straight to the motherfucking top. Some of you are um, with a Capricorn or a Taurus Virgo. Somebody with that in their chart possibly. And you could also have strong earth placements in your chart for some of you. And you could have Gemini, Aquarius placements for some of you. But you good. Libra, you all the way good. Somebody here wants you to be binded to the devil with them. Or somebody here want to sleep with you and give you some sort of STD. So that you two could just be together. It's like we both got it now. So we might as well be together. Like what? This is crazy. <laughs> like Libra, hell no. Okay, but fuck that. Like, oh, we both got it. We together forever. No the fuck we ain't. Like, uh-uh. Get your ass away from me. Like, that shit is crazy. It's it's crazy and I feel bad for that person. But no, y'all not about to... Mm -mm. Like somebody here want to... Nah. Mm -mm. No, Libra. That's crazy, okay? That's crazy. Some of y'all dodged the bullet. You could have stopped dealing with somebody in the nick of time. Like, just in time. All right. Let's move on to my um Scorpios. What's up, Scorp, Scorp, Scorp? What's up, Scorp, Daddy? What's up, Scorpio? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, and North Node, Scorpio. Who and what's coming towards Scorpio first half of March? Some of you dealing with a Leo. Yeah, strong Leo energy. Some of you definitely dealing with a Leo. But this could be a third party situation. You could be walking away from this person. Somebody here is walking away from somebody because they're tired of the third party. It's like threes a crowd. Third party could be a Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. But I definitely feel like you're ready to walk away from a third party situation. I can't make it up. The Eight of Cups keep coming out. Some of y'all are definitely walking away from somebody because it's like, mm -mm, this ain't working. This ain't working. This ain't what I want. This is not what I want. <sighs> this is not what I want. Yeah. This person is heavily burdened and weighed down because you're going to stop talking to them or you have stopped talking to them. You're receiving justice in a situation, uh, Scorpio. You can have Leo placements. You can have Libra placements. But you're receiving justice in a situation. 
it's good. It's a good choice for you to stop talking to this person. Some of y'all could be ghosting somebody. You could be going silent. Yeah, you could just be like, you know what? I'm ghosting you. I'm I'm going silent. I can't deal with this. Yeah, this person's getting karma right now. Judgment in the reverse. This person's under judgment. They're very unhappy. Nine of Cups in the reverse. They're very emotionally codependent. This is someone that's extremely needy as well. I'm hearing that this person is extremely needy. They're very obsessive, very dominating, and very controlling. This person doesn't want you to move on with your life. Some of you are literally moving, okay? Congratulations. Some of you could be getting a new home. You could be traveling. You could be getting a car, okay? There's a lot of good things that's happening for you, Scorpio, okay? Just be patient, all right? Some of you could have Sagittarius placements as well. But you could be moving, traveling, getting a car, getting a new home. And whoever this person is, they're just very obsessed with you. And they're getting karma. They're watching you live your best life. They're watching you move forward in life. And they're mad. This person is very abusive. The emperor in the reverse. It's a good thing that you got away from this person. There's an abusive masculine that you're getting away from. This is somebody that you know for a long time. You successfully been able to heal and get away from this person. This is somebody that's a scammer or a thief as well. This person could have been trying to set you up, trying to get you to like take the fall for them. Uh, somebody here could have also been trying to get you arrested, okay? Or they could have did something that's going to get them arrested, but they was trying to pin it on you. They was trying to flip it on you. Yeah, that's the truth. Like somebody here was trying to get you in trouble. Somebody here gave your name up. Like I feel like somebody here tried to say that you did something. Like somebody here really tried to fuck you up. Like this person got legal issues. They feel like they're going to jail and... They was trying to say that it was you so that they wouldn't go to jail so that you would go to jail. Like, it's just a whole bunch of shit going on here. And it's like, no, this person's getting karma. Like, ain't nothing going on with you. You moving, you traveling. Um, you, got, you got big things going on here. This is a karmic soulmate that did this shit to you. Somebody here could be a Gemini or a Pisces, or they could have that in their chart. For some of you, this is even like a karmic friend, okay? This could be a karmic friend um, or a karmic lover here. But whoever this is, it's like, this person really tried to do you in. Yeah, they tried to do you in for some money here. Ten of Pentacles. No, it's not going down. It wasn't successful. Yeah, it's not successful. You showing up as the Empress. Like, you're good. <laughs> you're good, Empress. The Empress is always good. Trust and believe that. Clarify the Empress. Yeah, this shit ain't gonna work. Yeah, somebody here could have also been trying to take you out. Okay, like literally take you out. Cause an ending for you. Tower, a permanent ending. Um, that didn't work out. You could have also got some sort of clarity or confirmation about this. So you know about this. You know who was doing this. Yeah, but you showing up as the Queen of Wands. Very beautiful. Very successful. Somebody here is losing everything behind attacking you. Yeah. Somebody here knows that they got to stop attacking you as well because the karma is too harsh. Every time somebody attack you, it's like they lose something else. Somebody here is tired of losing shit, so they're just going to finally stop attacking you. Somebody here hates to see you celebrate, though. There's a king of wands in the reverse that's very worried about their future. They see what else is happening to other people that attacked you, and they know that they next or some shit like that. It's given final destination. Somebody here is like, what's going to happen to me? I know I'm next. I know I attacked you, too. You know? Yeah, these people are stopping. Somebody here is stopping. They can't believe this shit, though. Somebody here can't believe your position. They can't believe your rank. Like, somebody here feels like it's... It's unfair for you to be this powerful or for you to be held in high honor like this. Like, you shouldn't have this kind of rank. That's how somebody feel. Like, who the fuck has this kind of rank and who the fuck has this kind of power? That's how somebody feel about y'all. Mm-hmm. That's how somebody feel about y'all. Who message was this? Scorpio? Yep. That's how somebody feel about y'all. They feel like that shit don't even make no sense. Like, how is it that you in this position? All right, let's move on to my Saggies. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, Sagittarius. Who and what's coming towards Sagittarius? First half of March. Who and what's coming towards Sagittarius? The first half of March. Who and what's coming towards Sagittarius? First half of March. Some of you could be connected to an Aquarius. Okay. Or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart. Some of you are getting into a relationship, a new relationship. Congratulations. Some of you could be connected to a Leo as well. 
I feel like if you connected to a Leo, you separating from that person. Some of y'all are leaving somebody. You could be leaving a Leo because of a third party situation. You could actually be finding out that somebody is married. Okay, so that just took a turn. Some of y'all are fine. Yeah, you find out that somebody played too much. They're a player. They play too many games. You like, nah, I'm not doing this. Yeah, you closing out a cycle with somebody. It's too much drama. This person is a Virgo or a Leo, an Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, this person is getting karma. It's so much drama attached to them. You like, nah, I got children. I got a life to live. Like, I got I got too much responsibility. I got shit going on here. Yeah, you moving forward. You like, yo, fuck that. I ain't got time for this. Some of y'all could be moving as well. Congratulations. You could be traveling. Um, you could be receiving some sort of money as well. That's beautiful. Yeah, Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Chariot. Y'all could be receiving. You could be getting a new car or you're, you're getting your car fixed. I heard finally. All right. Some of y'all could be moving as well. Congratulations. You could be getting more money here. You're showing up as someone that's stable and moving forward. You're not dealing with this third party shit at all. Whoever this King of Wands in the reverse is, you're not, you're not signing up for this shit. You don't want this Virgo. You don't want this Leo, this Aries, this Sagittarius, whoever this is. You're like, I don't want this shit. I don't want you. This person could even be trying to marry y'all. Okay? Like, somebody here views you as their wish fulfillment. They want to commit. They could be wanting to marry you as well. You're like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, this person's going to be heartbroken. They're not going to see this coming. Whoever this is, they're very full of themselves. They're very sure of themselves. This is somebody that just knows for a fact that you're going to be with them, that you're going to marry them, that you're going to be in a relationship with them. And that's not what's about to happen. Yeah. This person has too many secrets here. And they're going to be surprised. They're going to be surprised to see that you don't want nothing to do with them. This person is also high in the fact that they're losing a lot. Okay. whatever, Whoever this third party is that they was dealing with, they attacked you with this person. And that was an injustice. Justice in the reverse. You intuitively notice, you may know that this person is taking some sort of great loss here. I'm hearing they having a fall from grace. You may know that this person is taking some sort of fall here. Yeah, the tower. They're going through a tower moment. You know that them in this karma is losing a lot. You stop talking to this person or this person could have gave you their ass to kiss. They could have ghosted you, treated you like shit. And now you blowing the fuck up. You showing up as the star. This person wanted to, to put an end to your success. They wanted to put a permanent ending to you for some of you. But this person stabbed you in your back. They betrayed you to the highest power. And now they're watching you and they see that you've been vindicated. You're celebrated. You in the star energy. Some of you could even be in the public eye. But Sagittarius, you doing your fucking thing. You on fire. And somebody here wasn't expecting that. Somebody here been sending you a lot of evil eye, but all the evil eyes are going blind. Now this person actually wants to be your lover. They wanna they want to get away from this karmic now. Because they feel like they're losing everything with this karmic. And now they want to come towards you and make you a love offer. you like, hell nah. Yeah, now this person is saying that y'all soulmates, they want to give to you. But this person want to show up as somebody that's not really going through what they're going through. This person is trying to hide their karma from you. Because they want to come in wearing a mask. They don't want you to know. Yes, seven of swords. They want to come in wearing a mask. This is a false person. Seven of swords to the ace of swords in the reverse. This person wants you to think that they still doing good so that they can have a new beginning with you. They don't want you to put the pieces together that they betrayed you, that they attacked you, and that they losing a lot behind this shit. They don't want you to know that because they just want you to accept they offer. They want you to be with them. You're not accepting this shit. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You know that this person's a liar. You know that they toxic. This person could also be trying to hide some sort of addictions from you. This person could have like a gambling addiction, a substance abuse issue, but they trying to hide that shit from you. They're trying to hide their instability. They're trying to hide their karma and their addictions from you so that they could come in, they could marry you and partner up with you and be with you. This person is an opportunist. This person is a warlock. For some of you, I heard that they're a warlock, okay? And they're trying to hide that shit too. Yeah, they still a player. This is somebody that's very codependent. Sagittarius, no. Don't get yourself involved in this. You showing up as a high priestess. I feel like you intuitively know all of this and you like, nah, I'm good. Nope, I'm good. No, 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 no. I'm good, baby. I'm good. Nope, I'm good. No, thank you. No, thank you. Gotta go. <laughs> Sagittarius said, no, thank you. I gotta go. Yeah, gotta go. Sagittarius, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Yeah, you like, I gotta go. Nah, this ain't gonna work, baby. Nope, nope. It's not gonna work for me. No, 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 no. Yeah. You saying you can't go for that. <laughs> I'm hearing, I can't go for that. No, no. No can do, I can't go for that, no, no. 
no can do. <laughs> yeah, you ain't going for that shit. You said hell no. Nah. All right, let's move on to my Capricorns. What's going on with you, Cappy? The sun, moon, Venus, rising, and north node, Capricorn. Who and what's coming towards my Capricorns? First half of March, please and thank you. Who and what's coming towards Capricorn? First half of March. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody here can have strong Sagittarius placements. You or them. All right. Who and what's coming towards my Capricorns? First half of March. Well, the fortune tables are turning. Two of Wands came out sideways. I don't know. <laughs> All right. But Wheel of Fortune here in the upright cap. Okay. So tables are turning. Something here is being balanced out. Something here could be being made fair for you. You could be getting some sort of good karma as well. All right. There, you're going to receive some sort of communication from the King of Pentacles. You could also be in this King of Pentacles energy cap. That is Earth energy. But some of you could have a fellow Earth sign. Or somebody here that got strong earth in their chart, possibly that want to come towards you and talk to you, tell you something. What's going on here? Give me something on this King of Pentacles. Who and what's coming towards Capricorn? Why is the King of Pentacles here? The strength card. Okay. Somebody here may be wanting to create something with you. Oh, Five of Pentacles, the moon reverse. The devil. There you are, Cap. Judgment. Hmm. Somebody here could be facing poverty. Could be another Capricorn like you or Pisces or somebody with that in their chart. The Hierophant in the reverse. Could be a Taurus or Scorpio. Sagittarius. Seven of Wands. Oh, Capricorn, you need to protect yourself from these people. It's a lot of people here that's all going through it. For some of you, this is karmic family members or karmic friends. These are bad people here, okay? These are people that do spell work as well. Yeah, you need to separate yourself from these people. <sighs> Somebody here could have attacked you or attacked the Libra or Gemini. These people going down. It could be a Gemini, a Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Pisces. They all getting it. I mean, when I tell you everybody getting it, everybody getting it, man. And it's because they attacked you or they attacked somebody that you know or some shit like that. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, they attacked. Five of Swords. They attacked. This was all due to some sort of finances somebody thought they was getting. Mm-mm. Yeah, they attacked an empress. Capricorn, you could be this empress. If somebody here attacked you or they attacked an empress that you know. I don't know how this is going for y'all, but you're going to see this shit. Yeah, the empress and the three of cups. The empress is going to be celebrated. The empress is having victory. They're being vindicated. Yeah, things are happening for this empress pretty fast here. Okay, eight of wands, six of wands, celebration, victory, success coming in. This cycle is closed out. This person is very intuitive. Okay. But this person was being attacked heavy. This person could have had like a whole organization or a coven or some shit going, going up against them. This is a lot of fucking people going. To, this is a lot of fucking people going against one empress here. Like it's literally just one empress and a whole bunch of fucking people going against this person. Yeah. They could be a king of wands, king of swords here that want to come towards this person. Now that they've healed, but they unhappy because they get rejected by this empress. This empress don't want to deal with nobody. Capricorn, for many of you, this is you, okay? But I feel like you don't want to deal with somebody here. Yeah, somebody here could be trying to come in, sleep with you. You're like, nah, I'm good. This person could be a Leo, or they could have Leo placements. Some of you could also have a Virgo, um, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that's telling you that they love you. But this person is telling you that they released the gold digger and now they want to be with you. I feel like you don't want nothing to do with this person either. But they saying that they released the gold digger, but really, I feel like this person just put them out because they wasn't contributing. But this person really want to be with you. They really want to work together with you. 
-mm. Somebody here is a liar. I feel like you know that they're a liar. Somebody here is trying to cause illusions for you. Somebody here coming in apologizing to you as well because they lose and everything. I feel like you don't care. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to be bothered. <sighs> well, you know what? Listen. You're like, don't want to hear it. Don't care. Don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be bothered. There's a lot of people going through shit, though. I don't know. It's like you're a witness to this. I don't know. It's like you're going to witness this shit in some way. You're going to hear about it. You're going to see it. You're going to witness it. you like, damn. I'm glad I ain't go against them. Shit. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's something like that. All right. Let's move on to my Aquarius. What's up, Aqua? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, and north node. What's going on with Aquarius? Who and what's coming towards Aqua first half of March? Two more shuffles. What can Aquarius expect the first half of March? Who and what's coming towards Aquarius first half of March? Seven of Pentacles want to fall out so bad. We'll see if it come back out. All right. Aquarius, you could be arguing or fighting with somebody. Please don't. Okay? It's not even worth your time, sis. All right? Or bro. It's not worth your time. Like, don't even don't even do it. Okay? I just feel like it's draining. It, it's exhausting. You're not going to get a solution. You're not. No. Just don't do it. Or some of you, there's somebody that's trying to come in and argue with you. Okay? Somebody wants you to argue with them, but I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let them argue with themselves, okay? Yeah. Somebody here is angry because you're unbothered, okay? Like, somebody here is watching you, and they feel like you at peace, okay? Somebody's watching you, and they feel like you at peace, and they don't like it. So, they want to disturb you. They want to disrupt your peace, okay? But you got more power and control. You're not going to allow that to happen, yeah, somebody here is just mad because they're getting karma. They're under judgment. There's a queen of wands in the reverse that's under judgment. This person could be a fellow air sign like you. They could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius like you. They could also be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. They could have strong fire in their chart. But whoever this is, they're under judgment right now. And they're thinking of ways to disturb you in some way because they're upset. This person feels stuck. They feel trapped. They upset. They going through an extreme towel moment right now and they feel like you're not. Somebody here feel like they getting bad karma while you chilling and they don't like that. So they doing everything in their power to disturb you or disrupt you in some way. Somebody here wants you to be burdened here. Somebody here could also be wanting you to like move, okay? So this could even be like people that live around you or neighbors or something like that. Yeah, there's an emperor in the reverse that's working with this person as well. So it's giving me a masculine and a feminine energy. Could be attacking you because they're trying to cause you. They they trying to cause a burden for you because they want you to move. They want you to get out. Yeah, somebody here is unhappy. They don't like you. All right, well, the fuck? Like, fuck out of here. You moving anyway. For some of you, you moving because you're getting a lot of money. Some of y'all could be getting a large payout, okay? You could be getting some sort of money. You're going to take that money and you're going to dip anyway. So, and they still getting karma. And I feel like they karma going to be worse when you ain't around. Like, as soon as you get out the way, God going to really fix these motherfuckers up. Yeah, we got the magician here in the world. This cycle's closing out. You manifesting a lot of abundance. The magician to the Ten of Pentacles. You manifesting a lot of abundance. There's a lot of money coming towards you for some of you. Congratulations. Hell yeah. Congratulations, Aqua. Woo, baby. You on fire. Magician, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Will of Fortune. When I tell you, you, oh, baby, you done hit the fucking jackpot. I don't know what's going on. Somebody here could be winning a fucking lottery or something like that. But you done hit the jackpot, okay? Yes. Oh, my God. You going from the Nine to the Ten of Pentacles here. Somebody from your past is actually facing poverty, though. This person is going to want to work together with you. you like, hell no. Nah. You know to avoid this person. This is somebody that was sending you the evil eye, but now they want to apologize and act like they fuck with you. For some of you, this is somebody that's karmic as fuck, and it could be in your family. This person could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. you like, nah, I'm good. This person like, yo, bro, remember me, sis? Remember me? Aquarius, there you are. You showing up as a star. you like, nah, I'm cool. I don't remember you. This person could be a Sagittarius as well. This person is losing a lot. And they're going to want to befriend you or stay with you, come towards you. They may even need a place to stay. You're like, nah, bro. 
keep get away from me this person got negative energy yeah the hierophant reversed here and the force was reversed this person got horrible energy they could be a taurus a gemini a sagittarius a capricorn they can have that in their chart whoever this is it's like shit is backfiring on them because they do wicked shit to people this is somebody that got a wicked evil soul an evil heart an evil spirit something going on with this person you like nah i'm good yeah you intuitive you know to stay away from this person high priestess okay or you could be receiving some sort of messages from a high priestess or you are this high priestess yeah you know that these people were attacking someone or they attack it they attack the high priestess which is why they're getting the kind of karma they're getting or aquarius you are this high priestess that they were attacking either way however it goes for you these people getting karma for attacking the high priestess you're receiving some sort of wish fulfillment there's an empress in the reverse that's very jealous okay this could be a karmic mother here, all right, or just a karmic feminine energy here that's upset, all right? Somebody here feels like it's unfair that you're receiving justice. This person could be a Libra, a Taurus, a Aries Leo, a Sag. They could be connected to a King of Wands in the reverse, but they upset here because your wishes are coming true, Four of Wands. You're being celebrated. You have some sort of victory and success coming towards you. Yeah, Ace of Cups, you're getting like some sort of emotional fulfillment here. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands. You're going to be very happy. And you're going to be put in a nice position financially. Like, money is not an issue for you at all. I'm getting here that you have some sort of financial freedom. Okay? Aquarius, there's some sort of... Oh, excuse me. There's some sort of financial freedom here. You generating wealth. You generating wealth. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. There's wealth abundance here. A lot of it. A lot. A lot, 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 a lot. All right, let's move on to my Pisces. Last but definitely not least, happy Pisces season. Happy birthday, Pisces. I hope you guys are doing well. Sending you all lots of love and positive energy, Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys first half of March. What can you expect first half of March? Who and what's coming towards Pisces first half of March? Give me two more shuffles, Holy Spirit. Who and what's coming towards Pisces the first half of March? Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Okay. Pisces. You could also have Capricorn or Aquarius placements. I'm also getting Gemini energy here. It could be significant. You could have Gemini placements or you could be dealing with a Gemini. Pisces, here you are. You showing up. All right. Somebody here is an asshole. A king of swords in the reverse is watching you. This person feels like you've healed from something that you wasn't supposed to heal from. Somebody at your job could be attacking you as well. A king of swords reverse. This person could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is a snake. They smile in your face. I'm hearing, they smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. Them backstabbers, backstabbers. Somebody here going to jail, too. There's a king of swords in reverse that's going to jail. This person is a thief or they're a scammer or some shit like that. And this could be somebody that y'all work with for some of you. But you're going to see this shit. Yep, y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all heard that cop car just now. Yeah. The will is turning in your favor, okay, Pisces? So everything is working out for you. Will of fortune, the upright. But you about to witness some, some shit going on. I'm hearing, yeah, that's the sound of the police. Yeah, whoever this is, they're heavily burdened and weighed down. King of Cups in the reverse. They're going to want to spin a block and come towards you. This person is an opportunist. King of Pentacles reverse. This person don't really love you. They don't really fuck with you. They just need assistance. They need help. Okay, this person could be a water sign like you. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Whoever this is, they're opportunists. They just want to come towards you because they need shelter. They need help. Okay, something's going on with this person. Okay, this could have to do with children or child support or something like that. This person going through it, child. Pisces, you showing up as an earth angel. You showing up as someone that's very tempered, very balanced. You also showing up as someone that's celebrating during this time. Yeah, you're happy. You're like, yo, don't come over here with that shit, okay? Don't fuck up my groove. Yeah, Pisces, you got the sun card here, the three of cups. It's like you're happy and this person is going through hell. You got sunshine, this person got a big storm here. Yeah, you got victory, success, sunshine, celebration. This person got disappointment, poverty, grief, 
sadness, loss, spiritual jail. You know, it's like mm -mm, y'all living on two different sides of the world, two different spectrums. Yeah, this person, this person, uh uh, this person is stuck in life, okay? They stagnant, they just, they're going through it. They want to come towards you. This person may be wanting to build a family with you, build a home with you, build a life with you. This person trying to come in and, and like be with you. You're like, no, the fuck? The fuck out of here. Like, what's wrong with this person? Mm -mm. Pisces, this is a no. I feel like y'all not feeling this. You can have strong fire or earth in your chart, but you manifesting. This person can't believe this shit. They can't believe how strong you are. They can't believe that you're good. They can't believe that you're blocking them. You won't talk to them. Yeah, Pisces, you're showing up as a high priestess. You know that somebody's getting karma too. Whoever this is, you know that they under judgment for being a thief. This person is mad because you know that they're a thief. They mad because you know that they're in a terrible position in life right now. They're mad because you're in a nine of cups. You're independent. You're celebrated. You're doing good. You're doing real good for yourself. This person was sending you the evil eye, but now they feel like they need to stop because they're losing everything. Like somebody is literally losing everything. Four of Wands in a reverse, Eight of Pentacles reverse. They feel like they have to stop. The karma is too heavy. The judgment is too harsh. Yeah, this shit is over. The world card. Somebody here like, man, I keep losing shit. Like I know I'm losing shit because I keep wishing ill on Pisces or I keep attacking them. And as they watch you, they still they see that you're still comfortable. So that's another reason why they feel like they just got to give something up. You're comfortable and they losing everything. They would be a fool to continue to attack you. All right. You showing up as a high priestess. I feel like you know this shit too. You're like, go ahead, keep going. I encourage you to. Like, it's something here about your energy where you're just like, yeah, go ahead, do it. Keep doing it. <laughs> keep doing it. The Lord is watching you. All right. Like, I don't know, Pisces. I love your energy. You're so funny. But you're showing up as a star. Some of you could be in a public eye. You could be famous or you're about to become very popular. Somebody here could be getting discovered, especially if you post like public content, if you're a content creator. But you're blowing the fuck up. Um, all right, you guys, those were your messages. I hope that they've helped, gave you some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance, or just put you in better spirits, okay? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> thank you guys for tapping in, tuning in, watching. Thank you for rocking with me. Again, you guys, thank you for all the love and support y'all show me. Thank you for the likes, comments, shares, subscribes, donations. I see it all. I appreciate it all. You guys are amazing. I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the month of March. Peace.